In this video, we'll be roasting a whole pig on the rotisserie of the Blaze Professional Grill. Let's get to it. We'll begin by mixing up the brine. Over medium heat, stir in some sugar and salt until completely dissolved. Next, add in some sliced lemon and orange. Here I have some sprigs of fresh sage, rosemary, and thyme. Now I'll throw in some bay leaves, fresh ginger, and diced garlic. At this point, you can turn off the burner. We'll let this steep for a really flavorful brine. Finish this off with some red pepper flakes and black peppercorns. Allow your brine to steep for about 20 minutes and it's time to soak the pig. Pour the brine over some ice to make sure it's completely cooled off before adding your pig. Then place your pig in the brine and cover well with ice to ensure it's completely submerged. You'll want to brine for a minimum of four hours. If you have the time, let it soak overnight like I'll be doing today. While waiting on your pig to brine, it's a great time to pre-grill some vegetables to have ready to serve as a side. Don't worry about cooking them until they're completely tender now. We can let them finish cooking in the drip pan while the pig roasts. Once your veggies have some good smoky flavor and caramelization on them, just set them aside in the fridge for later. I'll be roasting the pig on the rotisserie of my Blaze 44 inch professional gas grill. You'll want to remove the cooking grids to get the most clearance possible. We'll be placing our drip pan in the middle, so go ahead and remove the center flame tamers and zone separators as well. Now I'll place some smoker boxes over the far left and right burners on the grill. I have two boxes filled with cherry and two filled with pecan chips. Set your drip pan on the middle two burners and you're ready to prep the pig for the grill. The pig I have here today is about 21 pounds. You'll want to get one around this size to allow enough room for it to turn in front of the infrared burner. I have my pork skin coated in bacon fat and I'll score it to help it crisp up. Season the inside with some coarse salt and Creole seasoning blend. I'll put the recipe in the video's description if you want to make the one I'm using today. I picked up a stainless steel U-bolt and pipe clamp from the hardware store to secure the middle of the pig to our rotisserie rod. You'll want to make sure that that's secure through the ribs before you trust the pig. Now with a large needle and some kitchen twine, truss the belly of your pig together. Always remember to tighten your rotisserie forks with some pliers so they stay put during cooking. Now turn your far left and right burners to medium low heat and fill the drip pan with some red wine and beef stock. For the first portion of this cook, I'll keep the rear infrared burner off. Use the burners under the smoker boxes to reach an ambient grill temperature of 325 to 350 degrees for the first hour and a half of roasting. Down here in Louisiana, a whole roast pig is referred to as a cochon de lait and is traditionally roasted over a pecan wood fire. From the looks of all this smoke rising, this guy will have some of the classic smoky pecan flavor. I'll be using my drip pan mixture for basting, so I'll add a few sprigs of fresh rosemary and sage. And now for a secret weapon, a few spoons of rendered bacon fat. Now we can baste this cochon and let him roast a little longer. All right, we're right at about an hour and a half. This little piggy is looking good. I'll go ahead and turn the far left and right burners to low and light the rear infrared burner. Now's a good time to add the grilled vegetables to our drip pan so they can stew in these flavorful drippings. I reserved a little bacon fat to baste my pig with during the last portions of this cook. This will ensure that our pork skin gets nice and crispy. It's starting to smell like cracklings out here. I'll baste this pig one last time and let it crisp up for another 10 minutes. Our pig is looking done. Let's shut off the burners and check the internal temperature to be sure. 
Once your internal temperature reaches around 160 degrees, it's time to allow your pig to rest for about 30 minutes with all burners turned off and the lid closed. For a finishing touch, some aviators for when pigs fly. This right here is my favorite part, the crispy skin, delicious.